Hey what's up guys, it's XX Modern Warfare here, Gamer Tab Banjo Chicken and welcome to another video. And in this video we're looking at something pretty awesome that's been a long time coming and I'm just so glad that they finally made this. Um, this is a new update for Freestyle Dash and it's still in beta stages so it's a beta update but it allows you to use their new um, system link feature called Link and it is basically it does the same thing as X and Kai or XPS Link but it's just so much better because you do not need a computer at all you do not need to um, you do not need a engine running on your computer like the X and Kai engine or the or XPS Link program you can literally just you don't even need a computer on you can just run it straight off the Xbox which is brilliant you finally do not need a computer in order to use this and it's still in beta stages so it is a bit buggy I have noticed a few bugs in it and the console crashes very occasionally but not doesn't happen that much but it is just such a great program so first thing you want to do to install this because that's what this video is going to be about how to install the new update and first of all you want to enable beta updates in the general settings and possibly receive update notices or start up you probably want that box ticked as well I do kind of change skins a little bit in this video uh, because my favourite skin is the air uh, skin, I think it's the best. Um, but anyway, once you enable beta updates and restart, you should see this new updates are available message coming up as long as you do have um, Freestyle Dash connected to the internet. So you want to go to updates, you want to tick these three in updates and press Y to apply selected updates and it will add them to your download queue and just wait for it to download so it's freestyle dash version 3.0 R402 uh, and it's beta update um, I will put a link in the description so you can download the link in the description will be for downloading the whole of freestyle dash version 3 with the new update so we can just put that straight on um, if you want to do that way the download link will be in the description or you can do it this way which is by using freestyle dash's automatic updater and the other way is to use freestyle dash's installer which I'll also be showing in this video so when the updates are finished you simply restart freestyle dash restart f3 and then you should get this black screen that should say to begin installation press the Y button so you press Y and it will start installing the updates now before you do this make sure you have dash launch removed from your Xbox that's quite important I'm not sure if you have to remove the whole of dash launch or just the launch.ini file but yeah definitely remove the launch.ini file before you do this update because if you don't you might find that when you finish doing this update you'll get a message saying freestyle dash has crashed and it'll do that every time you try and launch freestyle dash so make sure you have dash launch removed before you do this update and then after the update is complete and everything's working then you can basically um, reinstall dash launch so anyway press any key to reboot once the update's finished and basically that's it you should have it installed so the other way, like I said, is to use the Freestyle Dash 3's installer. So on the installer, make sure HDD is ticked, put download latest version, install F3 and remove existing install. Make sure they're all ticked. Install and configure Dash launch isn't that important. Um, freestyle, yeah, so, so set path, call it whatever you want and start installing. Once the update's finished, you should have the new version with the link update in it as long as you have uh, dash launch removed or at least the launch.ini from dash launch removed uh, and any other .ini file I would also remove off the root of your hard drive so anyway once it's installed you want to basically go into dash launch reinstall it make sure it's version 3.04 because that's the latest version and you want to go to network and the two most important things is ping patch and live not live block ping patch and uh, dev link make sure ping patch is enabled and dev link is enabled you need both of these in order for it to work and make sure live block is disabled as well otherwise you'll get problems with the uh, DNS if you have live block enabled so that's basically the three things 
live block needs to be disabled and um, the live block needs to be disabled, dev loop needs to be enabled and ping patch needs to be enabled and then you're basically set for using link. You also need an account with jqe2.com, no wait is it, no jqe360.com um, so go onto this website jqe360.com uh, on your computer and sign up, register an account and once you have an account and you've registered link it to uh, freestyle dash using the set using jqe360.com in general settings or no just in the settings and link console to jqe360 so once you have an account and you've linked it now you're basically ready to go so go into plugin settings freestyle dash 3 plugin and there you'll find your link settings so make sure it's always on and enable upmp for port mapping then do a test make sure everything passes if it doesn't pass I'm going to be making a video on showing you how to get it to pass because uh, people will be having problems no doubt with that not showing up failing the test port tests and stuff so anyway if it all works you want to just sign into a profile and you'll see this nice little system link option this is your link settings and in here you'll find lots of awesome stuff um, Right now it's showing not available, that's because I'm not on a game. Once you actually go into a game it will detect what game you're on and then put you straight into all the rooms that have that, that are playing that game. So you don't have to manually navigate into a certain cloud or manually navigate into a certain arena like you do on X and Kai. It will automatically detect the game that you're on and put you straight into it. So anyway, um, Next, you want to basically add a game path, so make sure you're launching your games off Freestyle Dash, not off XX Menu. Just because um, it may not work correctly if you launch it from XX Menu. So, what you want to, to basically do is go to Manage Game Paths and Content Settings, put the scan depth on 10, and basically you want to navigate to your game folders. So whether it's on a USB stick or external hard drive, mine's in my external hard drive. And I've basically got to scroll down until I find a game. Black Ops, no. Um, Black Ops 2, probably. Um, yeah, so navigate to a game, go inside the folder and press Y to select directory. Uh, then select um, Xbox 360 or automatic. And then press X to save and that will basically add the game in. So now if you go into your Xbox 360 games, the game should basically show up in there. And um, I'll be using Halo 4 for this test rather than um, Black Ops 2 because I'm having a bit of problems with Black Ops 2 at the moment on my JTAG. So. Anyway, go into Xbox 360 games and the game you added should be in there. You want to then press Y and go down to Manage Title Updates. It's quite important you have the latest title update because that's the update everybody's going to be playing on and if you're not on the same update as those people then you're not going to uh, be able to join anyone's game. So uh, download title updates by pressing Y and it'll add it uh, and press A, press A sorry, so it's not blacked out like that. See how it's greyed out? Make sure it's green like it is there and that means you're using that title update. And then all you have to do is start the game and you're basically ready to go. So let Halo 4 load up and just slowly. Okay, so now that we're actually on the game, if we go back into our system link, it should now show up with uh, lots of users. So this is just in general, I think, people who are on link in general, and there's 269. Um, and then if you scroll over to the left, you'll see all the rooms. So it says Halo 4, so it's detected you're on Halo 4. And then you just press A on whichever room you want to join the one with the most people in it 
and it'll keep it'll show up if a player joins, like it just did there. And then you want to make sure whatever game you're playing, you want to make sure you're using System Link, not um, Xbox Live, uh, which is something you have to do in Halo 4. You have to make sure you select your network as System Link, and then you're basically ready to go. Uh, you can now join other people's System Link games. Unfortunately for me on Halo 4 I don't have Disc 2 installed, but there are three people that are playing Halo 4 at the moment. Bear in mind this video was made just like a day after Link was released, so there's not a lot of people on it yet, but there will be plenty pretty soon. So, um, yeah. There's someone. You can also go into System Link, I'm sorry you can hear my Skype going off in the background there, but you can also go into System Link and press A on someone's account and then you'll be able to add them as a friend or block them or report them or whichever you want to do. Uh, and if, they're, if you're the host of the game you can also kick them or set them as leader and I think that's just really awesome. That's you know, it's just so much better than what they had before with their X and Kai integration. This has just gone way beyond that. And I really think it's awesome. This is my personal opinion, but it is. And... Yeah, anyway, he's just joined my game. So there's four people showing up now. And, yeah, there's someone else in my game. So, and that is without any assistance for the com from the computer whatsoever. The computer's not got any engine running on it. Um, you could even use this and XPS Link at the same time. You could use both because um, they're on different ports. So, I mean, yeah, it just gives you a chance for more people to join the game. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. In my next video I'll be showing you how to set up your router so that it will pass all the the port checks and stuff so anyway guys thanks for watching and please rate comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this little look into freestyle dash's new link feature